I, I'm just an advisor. I'm not in the rooms constantly. I mean, what, what I've seen the nurses go through, amazing. I mean, I, I honestly don't know how they do it. Coming home every day, seeing what we see, um, you know, you don't want to talk about it to others a lot of the times. I keep things inside. The anxiety that I have from the pandemic um, uh, definitely took a toll on me. I wish someone could step in our shoes and see how it was, at least for a couple of first two hours walking into a shift and it going left. I had one patient where he was young, he was alert, but he just started to desat completely out of nowhere. He decided like whatever my daughter wants, I'll do. I think that um, instance and situation with me resonated the most because it had to do with family, it had to do with literally life or death. They intubated him and I remember I would follow up to see how they're doing and I think two days later he didn't make it, so yeah. This isn't a job, I mean I figured that out long ago. This is, a, this is something you really want to do. You really want to make a difference with people's lives. We had a regular, so of course he, he acquires COVID. So he would call me like every morning. We talk about the Yankees because he loved talking about the Yankees. When I saw that he, things weren't going so good, I reached out to his daughter and he also had a granddaughter and she was like, listen, I, I don't want to come in. I'm afraid. And she's like, can you, you know, keep an eye on him? And I'm like, okay, I mean, sure. So I got the heads up from the doc that he really wasn't doing well. So I gowned up and I went in uh, and he was sitting there in the chair with, a, with the BiPAP on and he was struggling. I held his hand and just, we, I talked about Brooklyn and what the Yankees and stuff that we used to talk about all the time. Um, and then I think I said goodbye. And then he just passed away maybe two hours later. Being an ER nurse, you're used to seeing death, right? You're, but in your train to stay calm and collected in all critical situations, really. A few weeks ago, we had a 23-year-old patient um, come home with COVID um, and he was pretty sick. He wasn't vaccinated, um, so he was on a ventilator and he ended up passing away shortly after that at only 23 years old. So, you know, people think this only affects older people. Um, it's not true. Having someone who's 23, um, who's younger than me, pass away from this um, definitely took a toll. I mean, it hit everyone. You don't know what everybody's going through. I mean, and to just rip into somebody like I've seen people do, that's just, just not fair. The biggest struggle is um, mental health of nurses right now and healthcare workers in general. I think we're going to see a lot of PTSD and burnout in nurses. If you know anyone that's in the healthcare field, check in on them um, because they're definitely struggling. I always knew I wanted to do healthcare since I was younger. At the end of the day, it's something that's so fulfilling. You really love what you do, so you stick to it. Thank you.